What's up YouTube, Jordan here. A lot of Pokemon news to get to, but first and foremost, Pokemon Go has been launched in America, which is great news for me because now I can finally go ahead and download the game and get playing it. I am definitely very excited to play Pokemon Go, but I'm nowhere near as excited as I am for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here, I just always get a lot more excited for main series Pokemon games than anything else, but I definitely do have to give this game a chance and see how it is for myself. This leads me into my two questions of the day guys, is there anyone out there who's actually more excited for Pokemon Go than Sun and Moon? And also, are you interested in seeing some Pokemon Go content from me? I'm still not sure if Pokemon Go is something I'd like to attempt to record and upload to YouTube myself, but getting your guys' feedback would definitely be a big help in that decision-making process. Next up, guys, a brand new Pokemon for Sun and Moon has been revealed as of a few hours ago. Its name is Salandit, and it is a poison slash fire type, which a lot of you guys were really hoping to get in these games, and now you guys have it with Salandit. I, for one, really like this Pokemon. I like the design to it, and I've missed out on reporting a few of the other Pokemon reveals for Sun and Moon, but I really, really like their designs too. They seem very much unique to the Alola region, which is something that excites me. And I'm really just starting to feel like these games are going to start to be some of my favorite Pokemon games of all time, if not my favorites. Also, with all these dual types getting announced and revealed, it keeps making me feel like the Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur evolution line was just really made for Pokemon Sun and Moon after all. I don't know if any of you guys agree with that, but especially now when I look at Mega Venusaur in particular, it just screams Pokemon Sun to me for some reason. There's also a bit of Pokemon TCG news, guys. The next Japanese set, CP5, is going to include all of the Generations Mythical Collection Box promos into the set as full arts. I'm really excited to see how these cards are going to turn out in Japanese. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Japanese Pokemon cards, and I love these cards in English, so I think I'm just going to love them even more in Japanese. Also, guys, all of these cards are going to be included in is what likely will be our last XY set in November, which will be a 20th anniversary set. And Poke Beach has predicted, and I do agree, that in December we'll probably get our very first Pokemon Sun and Moon TCG set, or the Sun and Moon TCG base set, which will be absolutely hype. So guys, as you can see, there is a lot to look forward to and be excited about in the Pokemon world, as there tends to be lately. Stay tuned for a lot more videos. Be sure to answer my questions of the day in the comments section. Be following me on Twitter for updates. Love you all. Jordan, out.